wild horses and enough to make you stay. So throw your rope on another man and pull him down your way. Make him into someone to take the place of me. Make him every kind of a fool you wanted me to be. singing one time we did Porter's show and, and Porter came out and said fantastic the Osborne brothers he said that's like a pipe organ and he was talking <laughs> about the that. harmonies yeah, on that yeah, yeah. explain the harmonies that, that you were, well, were doing son. I guess ordinary like like regular bluegrass harmony you've got the, the lead part let's say that is in the middle then and then the higher the harmony part is on top and then the lower harmony part a baritone note right. if you call it that mm -hmm. we'll call it lead tenor and baritone those three parts are like so well when we would have, if we were to change somebody in the group, what, that would make our our whole thing sound completely different. Mm -hmm. So, we decided that to have Bobby sing all the parts or all the lead right. and put it in a key to where he could sing it, and then we just put instead of having a part on top of the lead, we put Bobby as the high lead note and then put the two parts under that. Right. And it really made it, it made us sound uniform all the time. We right. always sound, no matter who worked with us, it always sounded totally the same. totally different too. And yeah. it was a different harmony. Exactly. I think it wasn't the first time it had ever been used. It was different for, for bluegrass music, I guess, but yeah. um, Molly O'Day used that kind of harmony. The, the Maddox Brothers and Rose used that kind of harmony yeah. because of the high voice. They right. used that and sang Well, the, the Leuvens almost used it, but they didn't. Uh, the Leuvens used every kind of harmony. Well, that's true. Demand. But they didn't put <laughs> your, your, your middle harmony. No, they didn't have the third and part. that's what turned it around. I remember yeah. us working up things, going down the road on the bus. Sure, and, uh, sure. And with your voice, you would turn them, turn all the harmonies around and it's go just, every which way. And, and, and you can, as long as those three parts stay uniform, you can move mm -hmm. them anywhere you want to. That's where people... Don't really, I don't guess they understand, yeah. but if you just keep the parts, all of them in a row like that, you move them any way you want. Hi guys, thanks so much for watching this week's video. If you liked what you saw, hit the subscribe button right now. We post on Thursday of each week, so subscribe if you like. Also, please check out our friends, Summer and Bray, over at their YouTube channel. They're part of the Country Road community, and their link is right here. Finally, if you want to see stuff like this in full episodes, check out CountryRoadTV.com and use the code RENO, R-E-N-O, when you sign up for a free month. Thanks again for watching and see you next week.